Welcome back to another basic Game Maker Studio tutorial and this time we're gonna answer the question so what is the difference between well if you apply shader in the draw event and the draw GUI and if you want to know that and why you got this eh, thing here on the screen which makes sense in a few seconds stay tuned this is one up indie i am the developer of the indie game clunky souls and a programmer slash pixel artist so if you're new here and you want more consider subscribing to my channel because i upload every day a video and if you can ring that bell so what you're seeing here is basically a shader which is applied normally to the whole screen so for example no 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 we are a little bit too fast here for example if we go and i had this shader in my last video basically i just applied it to the whole well gui let's kill this guy here and for example once we started which is just basically doing some waves but so basically this is just distorting some stuff and as you can see it's distorting the whole screen which is the application surface so basically the application surface is like the last step that is the stuff which has been drawn on the screen but of course shaders are not just for the whole screen you can apply it to single objects or single sprites or whatever and let's take that stuff back and uncomment here so we won't be using so for example here this was this was this was making sense because we well uh, let's uncomment it so you can see it actually better basically what i did i just used the shader and then it's just basically taking the pixels and distorting them a little bit on the horizontal axis that's what it does easy peasy so it's just moving from left to the right and this is how you do it you just say shader shed shader reset and then apply all your stuff which you do in the shader to your application surface so this is the end drawing basically this is just the the end boss of drawing if you just wanted to know that so no 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 let's go and delete this guy and for example here i made my object apply shader gave him like some i don't know some palm and do kind of the same stuff just say shader start shader reset and then i say not the application surface because it doesn't make any sense here just draw yourself and then as you can see it does draw the palm because if you say draw self you draw yourself but here you just say but what are those things on the side i don't understand what is that stuff well basically if you do a little trick you go on windows so basically your resources uh, options windows then you make it a little bit bigger go on to graphics and here you can make your texture page you just press on preview and it will produce one and mine looks like this Huge textures by the way way too big and as you can see aha uh -huh, here is my palm and to the left i have this cthulhu guy i don't know some flames a bomb and yeah and some blocks to the side and for example once we go in here yeah that's actually the same stuff so basically what you're doing um if you apply a shader to a sprite for example you can change its position but not the position of the sprite but on the sprite which has been cut out out of the texture page and we'll just be moving freely now on the texture page and wiggling between <laughs> those blocks and Cthulhu on the left so this is the difference basically what you do in well for example the draw event is rather for some single um, changes box for example you can do some tinting with shaders or make some outlines some glow stuff and you can apply it to single objects like this and that and therefore you use your draw event which i'm going to go into a few other tutorials but this is just so you understand okay draw gui mostly and best for your application service basically the end drawing or for some single stuff which you want to target and that's basically it no magic here so that was it for today have a good one Wanna bendy.